Hi, this is Mike Green, uh, Dodgy on the Lightwave Forums, and I'm just going to show you how to use my um, Musclebone plugin. Uh, start off with having your Musclebone, this is the sort of my bicep um, bone that I've drawn out in layout, or you can do it in modeler if you want. Um, and then you have to choose a bone that you're going to have it driven off. So in this case I'm using this wrist bone here which um, is just sort of pointing out straight at the moment. I'm going to my setup rig make muscle bone plugin. Uh, the plugin basically comes in two bits. One which applies the motion plugin to the muscle and then this one which is um, the one that, is, that applies the actual muscle function. So if we do that you can see what happens is it opens a panel and it has added a little tiny bone here which is about 150 percent of the bone length. As you can see here you've got a target Z offset so that's how far the target is from the the bone originally. So that's 150 uh, and that bone is parented to this wrist. If I just move the timeline you can see it rotates with the wrist. So you can lock and hide that bone if you want afterwards. But as you can see now, as that bone is moved closer to the muscle bone here, uh, then this muscle bone is um, shrinking and thickening. It's thickening in two directions. I just rotate around here. You can see it's thickening in its y and its x axis and it's shortening in the z axis. Now these are your controls. So you've got your target bone which you can select all your bones from there. So I'm just sticking with the bone must target. This gives the uh, target bone the same name as the bicep bone or whatever it is you're using as the muscle bone um, with target on the end, muscle target on the end. Uh, or if you want to you can um, create your own target and then select it and then if you apply this uh, this uh, plugin in the, if we bring up the motion panels for this bone, you can see it's got the MG muscle bone and it tells you which bone it's following at the moment. Um, so yeah you can just apply that as a motion plugin to whichever bone you want and then select a target bone from the drop down or you can select a bone and then use click use current item for the target. Um, you can set how much it scales in here so you can choose to turn it on and off the scaling in the X or scaling in the Y and you can make it even more enormous like that perhaps a little bit too much um, there's 300 set it back to 150 and again here you can set the scaling factor there or you can choose to turn off scaling Z if so you don't want it to shrink then you can turn that off or on and you can also choose how much that you want to scale by as well uh, and then the target offset as I say is how far away this object is when your muscle is at its normal undeformed shape so if I move this right up here you can see it like goes a bit crazy as it gets towards the muscle but if I say click get current offset then it goes back to normal and it will use this value as the current offset so if you see as that muscle bone rotates around there you don't really want it so far back because it's going to pull this um, bicep out of alignment so you want to really just have it fairly sort of maybe fairly close to the the controlling bone and they can get current offset and then as that pulls in you can see it's deforming the, the muscle bone and you can again scale it to how you want so there's lots of controls to twiddle with it and play with it um, you've got a little bit of contact information here uh, and there you go that's how that thing works and uh, I hope you'll find it useful